This is a Ninja Ripper Blade by Ripper Blades, and it's a flat acrylic blade. It's not battle ready. Acrylic is not really sturdy enough to endure lightsaber dueling, unfortunately. It retails for $80 from Ripper Blades if you go with the no color version. If you add colors, then that can be $90 to $100 depending on what you choose. So if you go with a solid color of any choice, so they have red, blue, light blue, purple, green, yellow, and orange. If you go with any of those solid colors, that would be 20 bucks more. So that would put you at $100. Now, if you go the two-toned route, it'll be a little different. So you pay for each half. So it could be $10 for each half. So with the top half, you have all the same colors that I just mentioned, but you also have a clear option. So if you select clear for the top, uh, that's the same as no color. So then that means your top half would not be um, charge incur an extra fee but you would still say choose the bottom half color and then that would be ten dollars so for the bottom half you have the same colors I mentioned before red blue light blue purple green yellow and orange you also have the option of black at the bottom so if you wanted to have a little more of a dark saber effect you could go that route for the bottom half of the blade and that would be ten dollars for the bottom so this blade is 24 inches long, two feet, and it is three eighths of an inch thick. And then the stem of the blade, so this is one inch diameter and it's two inches long. Although Ripper Blades does say that they will accommodate custom sizes. So if you have a specific request for maybe a longer length of the stem or even an alternative uh, diameter like 7 8 inch, they may be able to, to accommodate you there. So, yep, this is kind of the main thing you should know. Here's what the blade looks like just without the light source. You can see the darker blue here, lighter blue up here, and some of the details, although looks a lot better <laughs> when it's lit up. So, um, ah, I'll turn off the light see if we can get a better view. These ripper blades are so cool, you guys. I really like this blade. It's really cool looking. The light fills in kind of all these little squiggly things in the blade, and it also fills in the edge quite well. And the reason ripper blades uses acrylic for their flat blades is just because the light it can be distributed throughout the blade much more easily with acrylic versus polycarbonate. And they made a video explaining that. But eh, it's still really cool looking, even if you can't duel with it. I wouldn't be surprised if Ripper Blades and some of the other Sabre companies, I bet they're gonna you know, experiment more with polycarbonate, see what they can do with that in the future, because I'm sure a lot of people are gonna wanna duel with stuff like this too, more in the future. But if you do get these blades with the color, so like this is the two-tone blade, it really looks best. Well, this goes for all of the Ripper blades, actually. They look best with a white LED, and especially if you have kind of a pretty strong LED. So I'm using an Ultra Sabres hilt in this example. Ideally, you would use the Tri-Cree LEDs if you were using an Ultra Sabres hilt. This is not, this is just kind of a single diode um, LED, not quite as bright, but at any rate, a white LED is kind of your best route. And well, let me see, let me pull out a different saber. So this is a blue LED. And oh, okay, on camera, it looks a little like pinkish right here. In person, it doesn't look that way at all. So, yeah, camera shows it differently. But in person, this blade just kind of looks solid blue throughout. So kind of the two-tone nature of the blade that I got is drowned out by the LED color. So I definitely would recommend if you're getting a blade with color in it to just go the white LED route. You're probably gonna be a lot happier with that. So 
One final thought on this is I received this as a guess what box. So Ripper Blades does something called guess what boxes and they have a few different price tiers. I got this from their $75 price tier. And well, as I said, um, the Ninja Ripper Blade retails for 80 bucks on their site. But since it also has the two-tone colors, that would put this blade up to $100. So I essentially got a $100 blade for 75 bucks plus, you know, plus shipping. So not too bad of a deal. Plus I think it's a really cool looking blade. So at any rate, that's kind of a final thought. You could try your luck with their guess what boxes if you feel so inclined, but Here's a ripper blade. This is my very first ripper blade, a ninja ripper blade. And yep, here it is made out of flat acrylic. So not for dueling, but it does look pretty darn cool.